The aerospace industry is becoming increasingly competitive by the day. With only a few names in this complex market, small startups are showing they can also play in the big leagues. Today on Super Freaky Science, we'll be talking about Astra, the newest private space company making headlines. What is Astra and what are their intentions? Astra is an American aerospace company making its way into the space race with just one rocket. The company's main focus is to build effective and cheap rides to space for small satellite companies. According to the company's website, they offer delivery services to a 500km high payload that weighs up to 330 pounds. From every indication, Astra hopes to ferry other startup and tech satellite companies looking to hitch a ride to space. Astra CEO Chris Kemp spoke to reporters regarding the mission of the company, stating, what we're trying to do is build a service that has a lower cost to operate and a lower cost to provide the launch service. The company is relatively new to the aerospace industry, but is already building rockets and carrying out launches twice as fast as any other startup in the business. SpaceX's Falcon 9 rocket also serves in the same niche as Astra intends to, with the only difference being that SpaceX does so on a much larger scale, with bigger satellites and with proven results in both unmanned and crewed flights. Another company also serving in this small market is Rocket Labs, which also offers dedicated rides for small satellites and payloads, but Astra hopes to take this chunk of the market. Although the company is relatively new to the rocket launching business, its employees have a vast knowledge of the industry. Before Astra was incorporated in 2016, it was known as Ventons LLC, a design and research company with over a decade's worth of experience dealing with rocket engines. Ventons LLC design portfolio enabled it to design and develop rocket-based technology for big names like DARPA and even NASA as well. After being reincorporated in 2016, Astra became a full-fledged space company designing its very own rockets for launch, but much wasn't known about the company's activities. The official site for Astra states its mission is for powering more efficient and affordable agriculture to helping the forestry industry fine-tune sustainable practices. The implication of sending satellites to space are exponential for our global economy. What does Astra bring to the aerospace market? Throughout the first years of Astra's existence, much of the company's activities were shrouded in secrecy with very little known about their design and launch programs. The company's first rocket launch took place in July of 2018, almost in complete secrecy at the Pacific Spaceport Complex in Kodiak Island, Alaska. According to the company's FAA filing, the launch of the rocket 1.0 took place on the 21st of July, but no other information was given. The FAA later ruled the test a failure as a mishap occurred during liftoff. But according to Astra, the mission was a success as they got valuable information from the apparent mishap of the launch. The second launch also took place at the Pacific Spaceport Complex with the designation Rocket 2.0. But that was all the public was allowed to know about the launch. And although the FAA ruled the test another failure by Astra, the company's only remarks were the second launch was shorter than planned, which only chalked it up to being another mishap. But with two officially failed rocket launches, Astra figured it was about time it came out of the shadows, and it did with the rollout of its third rocket, the Rocket 3.0. Rocket 3.0 was a simple, easy-to-build aluminium rocket design with portability in mind. This was to enable it to fit in a standard shipping container as it would have to be transported from the facility in Alameda, California to the launch site in Kodiak Island, Alaska. The rocket was a fully functional two-stage machine with five engines that used a standard kerosene or RP-1 propellant oxidized with liquid oxygen. The first stage, named Delphine, was designed with high-performance electric motors arranged in an uncommon pentagon pattern. 
Astro put a considerable amount of work into the design of 3.0, as it was contingent on winning a $12 million prize from DARPA. At the time, Astro was part of three teams competing for the prize money in the 2018-2019 edition of the DARPA Launch Challenge. The challenge required all participant teams to attempt to launch a small satellite payload into orbit with minimal notification of the payload size and from two different launch sites. Astra was the last to qualify for the competition, joining Vector Launch and Virgin Orbit, all relatively new startups in the aerospace industry. But in an interesting turn of events, in autumn 2019, Astra was the only competing company left working on the challenge as the other two teams had dropped out of the competition. Vector Launch had financial troubles as major investors pulled funding, and it soon filed for bankruptcy. And Virgin Orbit, on the other hand, pulled out of the competition to focus on developing its rockets for its clients, effectively leaving Astra competing for the prize money alone. Astra attempted to launch Rocket 3.0 for the challenge from their launch site at Kodiak Island, Alaska, but had to call off the launch due to technical difficulties and unfavorable weather conditions. With Astra unable to achieve a launch in the set timeframe for the competition, the challenge was called off, and the $12 million prize went unclaimed. Barely a year later, Astra made its comeback with the manufacture of Rocket 3.1 in September of 2020, and was poised to make its first orbital launch flight. Astra made upgrades to the faulty sensor data that prevented the launch of Rocket 3.0 and improved its avionics for the Rocket 3.1, although the upgrades proved insufficient. On September 12, 2020, Astra made its maiden flight with the Rocket 3.1 as the two-stage vessel lifted off the launch pad, achieving first-stage burn and slight nominal flight time before it came crashing back down. Successful liftoff and fly-out, but the fly ended during the first burn. It does look like we got a good amount of nominal flight time, the company tweeted after the flight. With Rocket 3.1 destroyed, Astra moved on to its current vessel, the Rocket 3.2, which paved the way for the future flight as it was the first Astra rocket to reach space. The Rocket 3.2 achieved its orbital flight on the 15th of December 2020, making it the first rocket by the company to do so. Although the rocket ran out of propellant fuel before reaching maximum velocity, it was a big milestone for the startup company and set the pace for future launches. Following the success of 3.2's launch, Astra CEO Chris Kemp revealed the company's plans to begin monthly launches starting this fall and progressing to weekly launches and hopefully daily launches as well. Kemp revealed that the company aims to target daily space deliveries, or roughly 300 launches in 2025. A tall order for a young company, but a daring goal indeed. Astra is set to make it big. Capitalization on the success of the Rocket 3.2 launch, Astra became a publicly traded company in July of 2021, becoming the first launch company to trade on the NASDAQ Global Select Market. Astra entered the global market under the ticker ASTR, with a starting share price of $9.68 and a 21% share increase on the first day. The company is set to see a surge in stock price with the launch of the Rocket 3.3 set to lift off later this August, with the result of the SPAC merger, which enabled the company to become publicly traded. Astra currently sits on a $452 million cash index on its balance sheet, which should enable it to run until it can land paying customers. To that end, Astra has already signed its first customer in a multi-launch satellite deal with Public Labs, as well as other contracts with NASA and Spire Global Incorporated. Analysts predict Astra to earn $3 million by the end of 2021, $59 million by the end of 2022, and $185 million by the end of 2023, and a staggering $445 million by the end of 2025. Although these numbers are contingent on Astra's rockets performing flawlessly, it's safe to say Astra's stock will get a huge boost from its current $10 share price. Do you think Astra has what it takes to compete with the big companies like SpaceX and Blue Origin? Let us know your thoughts in the comment section down below. And be sure to hit the like and subscribe buttons as well, and we'll see you in the next video.